Okay, now we're going to take a look at how to create a voice thread. It's really very simple. I'm going to show you how to upload still images. I'm not going to choose video or documents right now, just to keep things simple. The first thing you would need to do is create a voice thread account. So you can either go to voicethread.com and create a free public account, or you can create an educator account, and I'll explain later in this lesson how to do that. But once you've created your account, when you come to voicethread.com, you simply click on the Create button. And if you haven't yet logged in, it'll ask you to log in. So you log in with the username, the email address that you registered with, and your password. And then it brings you to this upload page. I'm going to click on the upload button and then I'm going to choose my images, documents, or videos that I want to upload to my voice thread. So I'm going to just click on my computer and now I'll warn you that I'm on a Mac so mine looks very different than yours. But on your computer you would just go to my computer and then probably my documents and then your um, images folder, your my pictures folder, or some other folder that you have saved some images into. I'm going to just click here and upload some random images that I have saved and I'm going to click select to upload them. And now Depending on how many pictures, it takes a little while. At first it looks like nothing's happening here. But in a short amount of time, your pictures will upload. And then you're, when you see the actual pictures here, then you're ready to go. And right now I'm just going to pause the video while these pictures are. Okay, now I'm back. And as you can see, I've uploaded quite a few pictures. So now I want to show you what the next steps are. Once you've uploaded your pictures, you may want to leave comments, explanations, etc. on your own pictures before you put it out there for the rest of the world to see. And that is quite possible to do. All you do is click the picture that you want to make a comment on and over here there's a button for comment. And that'll bring up the picture and then you're going to make comments on your own pictures just like other people might when they look at your voice thread online. So I'm going to click here on the comment button and then I get a choice. I can, I can call it in. I can use my phone to make a comment and call it in. I've never tried that, but that's possible. I could use my webcam if I wanted to make a video comment. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. I could use my record to make a mic um, excuse me, if I have a microphone plugged in to record an audio comment, I could use my keyboard to type a text comment, or if I had already created an audio recording in um, GarageBand that I'd exported or in um, using Audacity or some other, or I had a piece of music that I had saved to the computer, that I would use this upload so I could upload an audio comment or a little snippet of music or something. What I'm going to do this first time is make type a text comment to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to click on type a text comment and then you see by my face and because I'm logged in and I put in a picture I have my face. If you don't put in a picture then it, it kind of picks some default little images for you. They remind me kind of of Monopoly pieces. There's like a thimble and a, a wheelbarrow and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to make the comment. I'm going to say snow days usually mean my husband has some plowing or digging out to do. Now one of the things that you want to do if you're re 
putting in a typed text comment is you want to keep it fairly short. Some people type a giant comment and then when people are looking at your voice thread, it's a little bit harder to read. It just doesn't stay up long enough or the type is too small in order to fit and so on and so forth. So you want to keep it short. You can always add an additional text comment if you need to make it longer. Okay, I can now click save if I think this is what I want. I can click cancel if I want to try again or I could just click back in there. Um, probably doesn't really apply to what we're doing so I'm just going to skip that at the moment and I just click save. And now you'll see that there put my picture here and when I click on my picture up comes my little typed text comment. Because I'm the one that created it, I get, and because this is my voice thread, I get the opportunity to delete it if I want to. Hang on, let me see, it automatically goes to the next picture. Let me just go back, and there's my comment. Okay. When I click it, I have a trash can, and I could put it, let me stop that, I could put it in there. Um, and in a second, I'm going to show you uh, the playback option so you can adjust how long a picture stays before it automatically goes to the next picture. Okay, I'm going to go to the next picture now, and I'm going to show you um, how to record an audio comment. And again, I need a, a microphone plugged in, which I have, and then I'm just going to click on the record. And then the first time I do it, this is going to come up, and I need to click allow so that everything talks to everything else. Hello. There we go. All right, and now it's recording my comment. And I'm going to say I stood in my driveway and looked up at the bottom of my pine tree and was able to see all of the snow kind of was an interesting texture. I had to be a little bit careful, though, because as I walked under the pine tree, the globs of snow kept falling off and going down the back of my neck. So it was a little bit chilly to be looking at my tree as well. Now I can... And now it's recording my comment. And I'm going to say I stood in my driveway and looked up at the bottom of my pine tree. And was as you able can see, to it see immediately plays it back. And, and I can decide if I want to cancel it and start over. Careful, though, or if I want to click save tree, and save that lots comment. Of snow kept falling off and going down the back of my neck. So it was a little bit chilly to be looking at my tree as well. And when I'm finished, I just click save. So although this kind of a strange sounding comment because you hear me talking for this video and you hear my comment and all of that, I am just going to click save. Later I can delete this because this probably isn't exactly the comment that I want on here. And again, it just added my picture. Now I'm going to go back to my first slide to show you what will happen if I added a second comment or if someone else added a comment who wasn't me. Um, you're going to see my picture come up again. This time I'm going to use my webcam. So if you do have a webcam plugged in, you can do that. You can put a video comment in. So let me do that. I'm just going to click on here. It'll give me a countdown. Hi, I'm so excited that I have a snow day. Sent my husband out to dig out the car, and I just was enjoying the day and taking pictures in my snow-covered yard. Hi, I'm so excited that I have a snow day. Sent my husband out to dig out the car, and I just was enjoying the day and taking pictures in my snow-covered yard. Okay, so you can see that, and again, I have the chance to save it, so I'll save it. Because it was me commenting both times, there's my typed one, and I'm not seeing my recorded one, so I probably should, oh, hang on a second, it'll come up as a second one. There we go. Hi, I'm so excited that I have a snow day. Sent my husband out to dig out the car. And I just was enjoying the day and taking pictures in my snow-covered yard. Okay, I'm going to stop so this doesn't advance. Because I made both comments, you only see my picture once. But if you look down here, you can see a little bar and then kind of a little tiny break and then another little bar. 
This is my first comment, my typed comment, and then this is my video comment. If you had additional people who had made comments, as you probably will see if you haven't already looked at some of the examples, when you do, you will see that. You would see lots of pictures around here, and as it went to each picture, you would see each picture, each comment, whether it's text or recorded or video, would be represented by a, a length of bar down here, depending on how long the comment is.